Hey YouTube, welcome to my Topps Knives collection video. These are all 16 of my knives that are made by Topps. And Topps has a huge assortment of knife models available. Probably something like 300 different knife designs out there right now. You might be saying, all right, what about, what about all the other Topps knives? Uh, they suck, these are all the best ones. No, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No. Um, these are just the ones that, uh, you know, these are the designs that I felt most suited my needs. Some of them I have as uh, outdoor tools, others as collectibles, others as, uh, you know, weapons of last resort, but also to work out with in martial arts. All right, let's just do a little close-up strafing run. It's a closer view. These uh, wonderful pieces of cutlery. And I will go through these and talk about, you know, my favorite picks for different different uses. I have reviewed many of these. And Tops, you know, they're pricey, but they are one of my favorite companies. All right, starting on the top left, Tops key knife, that's model A, the clip point. Uh, the other key knife is model C, the harpoon. And we have the Max Punisher, Screaming Eagle, Joint Spec Ops Knife, uh, the USMC Combat Knife, Power Eagle, the Prather War Buoy, the Longhorn Buoy, the Apache Falcon, the Mill Spy 5, the Mill Spy 3, the Street Scalpel, and above that, uh, the Small Alert Knife. Next to that, the Cali Cobra. Right, and the other knife next to the handle of the Power Eagle is the uh, XL Alert Knife, which actually uh, basically comes free with the Power Eagle. All right, and if you want a quick summary of what all these are good for, this is going to be my pointer. This is my Browning comp Competition Chopper. Um, if you want something that's a chopper and a pry bar, you know, that's obviously what that Max Punisher is for. If you want something that's almost a pure combat, you know, military combat blade, the Joint Spec Ops knife, it's, a, you know, 8 inches of piercing power. This is also good combat utility, designed by Lacey Sabot, a very famous knife designer, veteran, law enforcement, military, all the credentials. He designed this to be like the USMC K-Bar but with a true full tang and an integral guard. So you can imagine it's a good design. Uh, the Apache Falcon, another combat utility. The Mill Spy knives, those are more pure um, outdoor bushcraft survival type knives and they're very rugged. Just check out the reviews. Street Scalpel is just a handy little, kind of a handy little last ditch. Uh, basically it's a very nicely fit and finished shank. And the alert knives and those key knives, you know, those are pretty much um, just small fixed blade utility everyday carry tools. And the Cali Cobra, that's a specialized, it's basically a karambit but with a few extra tricks up its sleeve. You can check out that review. Now if you ask me what is my favorite knife in my whole tops collection, it's got to be the Power Eagle because you can use it for anything. You know, if somebody told me, hey, you know, we're going to drop you in a, a jungle for a week and you're going to have to survive and you can only take one of these blades, which one would you take? I would definitely take the Power Eagle. Um, it can be used as an axe. It can be used as a machete. Defense against uh, dangerous animals, uh, dangerous uh, humans in a military situation. Um, it's, uh, and for the price, it's actually one of the less expensive uh, tops blades. It's 5160. Good carbon steel. Yeah, if you if you never buy any tops blades but one, I would recommend that Power Eagle. It's it's a beast of a blade. All right, just a few close-ups. The Max Punisher. This was in a movie, but nonetheless, you can see how um, heavily built this is. I have a review of this coming up. It's basically your typical. A uh, chopper and pry bar uh, version of a knife. 
designed by a uh, law enforcement veteran. The Screaming Eagle. I think this view right here pretty much sums up why I purchased this knife. I mean, just look at it. I mean, you know, I just, uh, I had to have it. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's just an impressive looking blade. Fit and finish. Excellent. Durable is all hell too. And I have already done a review of this. The Longhorn Bowie. I haven't reviewed this yet, so this will be a little preview for you. Excellent fit and finish. That's one thing I definitely like about tops. It's collector quality fit and finish, but on you know durable, durable blades. And you know who doesn't like a buoy? Look at the belly on that. Extra large size. Look how much extra room I have on the handle. Extra large size. So if you're a huge guy or a regular guy with huge hands, you will like this Longhorn. And I'll have a review of this coming up. All right, and the tops Power Eagle. It's a it's a foot long blade. This is uh, it's bigger than my uh, SE Hoongloss, and you know that's a huge blade. Full tank construction, and you know this is this is the view you want to see. You don't want to see the view coming at you like this because, like I said, you know it's like a small gladius. I mean. Yeah, this could, you know, it's got a lot of weapon use, and also it's it's um, tip heavy. I mean, you could use this as a, you know, instead of a camp axe, no problem. And you can see the finish up there. It's a little beat up because I did test this. I smashed it, chopped it into many things, and then I cleaned it up as best I could. But it's still a uh, finish is a little bit worn. But I think that, you know, I think that gives it character. Yeah, this awesome blade. Just check out the review. Praether War buoy. So many people told me that they thought this, they felt that this design was just a winning design. They really, people really love, loved the looks of it and the functionality. You know, the, uh, the belly it gives you, the tip, designed by Green Beret. First class knife. All right, and... The review of this will be upcoming in the future, but this was designed by a Muay Thai, a Muay Thai fighter and martial artist. And again, I mean that's a great that's a great handle design. Awesome fit and finish. All right, and the uh, the Spec Ops knife again. It's a knife you want to see this view. You don't want to see this view coming at you. And that pretty much explains the use of this type of blade. Tabletop of this, upcoming. Alright YouTube, well I hope you enjoyed seeing this overview of my Topps collection. Maybe it gave you some ideas um, for some knives you might need or want. And if you have any questions, just check out the individual reviews or just wait for the future reviews. And I'm out of here. Have a good one.